Bradley, it's all about you now. Let's let's dive into business. All right, so some of you guys have already met Bradley. Bradley, you can find him on the home screen of the Hunt League app. Um, we've got something really cool that we have been working on uh, actually for – a couple months now, right, Bradley? I mean, how, how long has this been kind of in the works? Yeah, I've been kicking around the idea for a while, you know, even pre the uh, on-point hunt and just thinking about, you know, wanting to put something together. And, man, I couldn't be more excited. It's all finally coming together. Uh, and we're just going to launch this thing. So, yeah, it's super cool. Heck yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, – you, you made a little bit of a video. So rather than talk about it right here – Let's cue this video, and while this video is playing, I'm going to push the go live button on this league. So while this video is playing, you'll be able to go into the app and find this league. So uh, let's roll. What's up, everybody? Bradley from Wild Food Outdoors here, and I'm so excited to finally be able to share the launch of the Wild Food League within the Hunt League mobile app. I started hunting in 2022 because of a desire to be responsible for my own meat from harvest to table. I also knew that I wanted to document and share the process while elevating and celebrating the food aspect of hunting that's so important to so many hunters around the world. The Wild Food League was created to do just that. Join the league within the Hunt League app and participate by sharing photos and stories from your hunts, but especially how you process your meat and prepare your meals. We especially encourage you to share your tips, tricks, and recipes within the Hunt League community and across social media using the hashtag WildFoodLeague. By doing so, you'll not only be showing your friends and family and others how important the meat is to you, but also you'll have the chance to win an insane prize package from some really cool sponsors. So head on over to WildFoodOutdoors.com to check out the full prize package and league information. And of course, you can join the Wild Food League within the Hunt League mobile app today and start participating. I want to give a huge thanks to Jared and Hunt League for partnering with me on this project. And of course, big thanks to our sponsors for helping me put together such an incredible prize package. I'm really looking forward to this league and looking forward to what you guys are cooking up with all that great meat that you're harvesting out there. So I look forward to your posts in the Wild Food League on the Hunt League mobile app. Heck yeah, Bradley. It's on. The yes, Wild Food to do it. League. It's live. I mean, this has been brewing for a little bit. And you're, you're a man that got into hunting. Uh, a, a major part of it was related to just your pursuit of eating healthy and eating wild food. So talk to us a little bit about your passion for wild food. Yeah, you know, I just, I really got into hunting because of the food aspect of it. Uh, you know, having kind of seen firsthand factory farms and what that looks like, I just kind of got to a point where it was like, you know what, if I'm going to keep eating meat, then I need to be willing to go out and get it for myself and be responsible for the entire process. Uh, and then as I got involved in the hunting community, you know, I saw that there's kind of this smaller group of people who are really about the food. And I wanted to just find ways to kind of increase the amplitude of those voices uh, and document my own process of learning how to hunt uh, and, and elevating the food. And so I couldn't be happier to have created this league with, with you, Jared, and Hunt League. Uh, and it's, I think it's going to be really awesome. We got so many amazing sponsors that have popped on board. Uh, and already people have been sharing, you know, food and recipes and things in the community. And now we're just going to give everybody that much more incentive. Uh, and across, you know, social media as well. So I'm so excited for it. No, this is awesome. This is one of those leagues where, look, it's not elk specific. It's not species or method of take specific. This is something that applies to all hunters because every hunter that's out there, they should be focused on the food part of it, what you do after the harvest. And I'm super excited about this because I think just in my interactions with you, it's helped me understand more about like canning meat and talking with guys like Wally King. I've been inspired to do the bone broth, uh, even like, all right, how do I cook and, and eat the bone marrow? And he's like, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. And it's like, those are things that for years I've just left in the field because I didn't really know what to do. I've never had anybody show me, walk me through it. This Wild Food League, I think is going to inspire people to not only try new recipes, but use more of the animal, whether that be, I mean, Wally talks about eating the tongue and, you know, things like that, that I'm like, yeah, I've actually left the tongue every time. I never, 
I never really eat the tongue, but you know, it's like, no, you got to right. get the tongue. Um, so I, I think doing this wild food league is going to help all of us be better stewards of the resources of the land, of the animals that we harvest. And, uh, I honestly couldn't be more excited. Walk me through a couple of these. I mean, I've already kind of shown some of these. They're going to get a sweet wild food shirt. Uh, that's, <laughs> talk, talk to us about some of these prizes. Yeah, so Crew uh, Wood Fired Ovens is contributing one of their uh, uh, outdoor wood fired ovens, which is amazing. Heck yeah. uh, we got steel port knives, and these are handmade, American forged, high quality knives uh, made That's here out in of Oregon. Portland too, right? That's another Oregon company. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Four Lows contributing their field knife. So if you need a, a, a great knife, kind of bushcraft style knife, that one is, is super duper nice. Uh, Finex Cast Iron, another Portland company here in Oregon. Yeah. These are some of the best <laughs> best cast iron pans you can get. You'll be yeah, passing them down I, to I your kids like and grandkids. Pans. When you said there was like a $300 pan, and I was like, holy mackerel. Like, is, is it made of pure gold? And then I saw the photo, and I was like, well, maybe it is. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, these are fancy. So you yeah, got the absolutely. guys coming in. Uh, we got yeah, you. yep, go hunt. Yeah, I've been using Go Hunt uh, since I started hunting. Love it. They're contributing uh, their top of the line insider package. Gives you access to their mapping application plus their insider research platform, which is incredibly powerful if you're just getting into like all the tags and point systems and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, really help you figure that out. Uh, Thermoworks. Uh, I use Thermoworks stuff just about every day in the kitchen. <laughs> Great thermometers, uh, instant read, perfect for making sure you get that perfect cook on your steaks or whatever yeah. it is you're making uh, yeah when so you amazing, want that temperature amazing. to be 140 degrees and not higher you got that thermal works and it is money absolutely now this uh, one this like, is a cool I, one I was like okay this is actually kind of cool because it goes with that pizza <laughs> oven yeah absolutely so you're not only get the pizza oven but you'll get the wood that you can use along with it from cutting edge firewood uh they make just kind of these really nice kiln dried, super nice uh, chunks of wood for use in your outdoor wood fired ovens or your smoker, whatever it is. They got a bunch of different kind of stuff, or even just kind of if you want just plain firewood for your fire pit. They got all kind of great stuff, but yeah, I yeah. think it'll be a hickory, a hickory wood box uh, that you can use with that uh, crew wood fired oven. Yeah, it's going to be delicious. Last thing on the list right now, but we I know there's other stuff still coming. So we've been having <laughs> conversations whether that adding a cooler, adding some other utensils that are going to work well in the kitchen. But uh, this is something that everybody, when they're processing animals, whether it's in the field or at home, uh, should have handy. Absolutely, absolutely. My medic stepped up. There were so many knives in the price package <laughs> and so many knives being used in the processing. Uh, always a good idea to have a first aid kit handy. Uh, and this is actually a nice compact one that you can also throw in your pack when you're out hunting. Uh, throw it in the truck. So yeah, really useful tool there. Yeah. And with any of these that you find inside the apps, I mean, you go to the join tab, you can hit the wild food league. That's how you would join this league. Um, but with any of these, there's the picture, which if you click that, that's going to enlarge it. But if you click above it, it's actually going to take you, uh, it's a direct link um, to the product. So if you want to learn more about the product, I don't know if my internet's moving pretty slow, but there you can kind of see the product. You can learn more, uh, find out exactly what is in that package. And maybe you don't want to wait on the league to end before you own some of these products. Like that crew oven, I showed that to my wife. I was like, check this out. And she was like, we need that for Christmas. And I was like, okay, like I I'm digging it. Um, so anyway, you can, you can see these. If, uh, if you want to click on any of their logos, it will take you directly to their website. So if you want to learn more about crew stuff, Steelport, Forlo, Finex, Go Hunt, any of these, just click on those logos. It'll take you directly to those websites. So, yeah, I, I will say real quick, real quick too. Most of those sponsors right now are running Black Friday sales through oh, yeah. most of the month. So, if something really does catch your eye, now's a good time to jump on it. So, when does this league end? Let's let's check on this. So, this this ends the end of May. So. Typically, this league is going to run, we're going to make this an annual thing, so it will start again in June, but we will announce the winner. This first year's winner will be announced uh, in June, but the league officially ends May 31st. So recap for us. If somebody wants to win this league, because we don't have 
Like it's not a hunt log thing. It's not a, so how does somebody win this league? Absolutely. So what we're looking for is for people to be posting in the hunt league community tab where you can post a photo and a, a little story, post pictures of your meat processing, what you're doing with all your meat, uh, how you're cooking it up, recipes, uh, pictures of the completed meals, those kinds of things. And then also uh, feel free to share those things, uh, exact same posts across whatever social media that you use. Uh, just make sure you include the, the hashtag uh, Wild Food League, and we'll be keeping an eye on that, as will the sponsors. And at the end of the league, we'll kind of review all of that and, uh, and then pick a winner from there. I love it. I love it. I am so excited about this league. I can't even yeah, begin bummed. to tell you. So, Bradley, uh, again, this is a Hunt League member that had an idea. Not only did you have an idea, but you created a pitch deck. You sent emails out to these different companies and said, hey, these are products that I use in my kitchen. These are products that I know that other hunters inside this app and community would love. So I just want to thank you for taking initiative. Um, I hope that the initiative that you took on creating this Wild Food League will inspire other people to create leagues of their own, whether that be a waterfowl league, whether that be uh, a, a rabbit hunting league, a squirrel league, whatever it is you know, that somebody has an idea for. Uh, it makes me really excited to see, uh, even if it's conservation-oriented, whatever, it just gets me really excited to see the creativity coming from inside the community and the opportunities that exist. I mean, Garrett's On Point Experience, it had multiple sponsors, a prize package that exceeded I don't know, fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars, um, and that was created from a hunt league member that just said, "Man, I want to take somebody on a bear hunt. Let's do this," uh, and it blew up from there. So uh, I'm excited to watch this league blow up inside the hunt league app. So, Bradley, thanks for joining us, but we have got to get moving on because we have to announce Absolutely. the winner of the Sweet September League. <laughs>